All right. Happy belated Easter. Merry Easter or happy Easter. <laughs> uh, Jesus is risen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord and Savior. So put your trust in him. You know, nothing else matters if you don't have the Lord. So you, you can have all the gains in the world, but if you ain't got Jesus, you, you're in a deficit. Not the, de not the kind of deficit we want. Not the calorie deficit. You're in a spiritual deficit. We don't want that. We want to be in a spiritual surplus. That just came to me. That was pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah, we want, we want to be in a calorie deficit if we're trying to lose weight. But at all times, we want to be in a spiritual surplus, right, of the Holy Spirit. That's what we want. Uh, we want all them Holy Spirit gains we can get. And uh, also, we want to get stronger physically too that does matter you might as well you know take care of your body get stronger uh get lean get healthy you know but seek jesus christ too don't forget about him he's more important than the gym or what we eat uh i am going to be doing you know a lot more uh, uh recipes and stuff to help you all get lean and show you all how to hit hit these macros hit hit, hit the right amount of calories and stuff like that just simple, really good, kind of home cooking, you know, calorie friendly things with a good amount, a, a balanced amount of protein, carbs, and fats. You know, my frame of mind is, you know, you know, especially when you're dieting down, you're cutting down, uh, you're cutting the calories, say, the last thing you want to do is start messing with uh, your macronutrients, like taking things away like fats and, and carbs. Uh, you need a decent amount of fat, you know healthy fats, you know, avocados and things like that. You need those good fats to uh, satiate you and keep you full and to feel your hormonal output. And, it, you know, if you go low fat and you're trying to train and get stronger, you're just going to feel miserable. Same thing with carbs. If you, <laughs> I know, you know, some of these weird diets, people, people, you know, go no carbs or low, try to get 50 grams of carbs a day, wonder why they can't get stronger. You just ain't got the gas, you know. Uh, I'm very much about a balanced approach, you know. I like to get around 35, at most 40% of my calories from proteins, and then I let carbs and fats kind of fall where they may. I don't really track those. You don't need to track them, really. That's kind of how I always teach it. Track your calories and track your protein, and kind of let everything fall where it, where it does with the fats and carbs. Uh, you'll find that that approach is so much easier. It's not going to make a lick of a difference whether one day you have, you know. 30% carbs or 35% carbs, it's it's going to be so minuscule, you're not even going to notice it, just people get too obsessed with all this stuff, and the main thing is try to hit a good amount of protein, because that, that, that is important, uh, we want to get enough, and by enough I mean, you know, 0.82, so less than, like, just under a gram per pound of body weight, so you know, if you're a 200 pound guy, try to shoot for 200 but if you get 170 you know you're, you're probably you're good and uh yeah anyway let the carbs and fats fall where they may we're gonna break the fast this morning a little early wife is getting california burrito <laughs> i don't know what calories are in the the steak burrito number 25 from california burrito but i'll kind of eyeball it i'm guessing you know probably a thousand calories or whatever Usually fast food is funny that way. They'll they'll find any way to add like three or four hundred calories. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of hard to track. When I'm when I'm eating out like that and I I don't have the calories, I kind of always guess high a few hundred calories just to be on the safe side. Especially if I'm trying to hit a deficit. So if I look at a burrito, you know, and I'm like, well, that, you know, I don't really know what it is, and I think it may be eight hundred. I'll call it a thousand. You know, and if I'm a little low, great. I'll just lean down a little faster. Uh, these are some tips, you know, you can do, you know, if you're out eating and you don't know what's up, just, you know, figure, make an estimate and then add two, three hundred, four hundred calories, you know, and uh, yet your body will let you know too, funny enough, once you really get into this, um, if you're just going to bed at night and you're just starving, you know, eat a few hundred calories of something, two, three hundred calories of some protein, you know, because, you know, if you're just starving, that, that, that means that that's your body telling you you're in like a huge deficit. You can you can probably eat a little something uh, like last night. I was pretty hungry and I just had this low calorie bread, it's like 70 calories. I made like three pieces of it. 
and I had a little bit of peanut butter. It was like 300 calories probably total. And that was enough. I, I was able to sleep. So, you know, if you do need to eat something, you know, eat, you know, listen to your body. But there's a fine balance, you know. Eat enough, but don't go crazy, you know. Don't make a thousand calorie omelet and then, you know, <laughs> all this stuff. Because it, it's easy to go over, you see. And there's a there's a there's there's really an art when it comes to getting lean. Uh, eat just enough, you know. Because you do want to, if you, you know, if you're like me, you do want to lose some weight and you, and you need to have weekly progress and it's easy to, for it to let, get out of hand. And, you know, especially when you've been in a deficit. I, I know for me, like, you know, 300 calories will, will shut the hunger off and it help me go to bed or whatever. But also, I, you know, I could smash down 2,000 calories easily in 20 minutes and I'm not even joking. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, a few weeks ago, I ate like, I, you know, I had uh, a bag of Jack in the Box tacos, not the greatest thing. Ended up eating like 10 tacos just in like 20 minutes. So it, it's easy to do that when you've been cutting a while. People think that sounds crazy. But whenever you've been in a long deficit, your body is like primed to pack on the weight back. Like I said, homeostasis, your body is trying to stay the same. It's freaking out. It's like, we lost this weight. We got to put it back on. So, uh. Yeah, just some tips there. Uh, I'll get off here. God bless. Talk soon. Peace.